Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week I'm talking about kind of random thoughts that came to me as I was driving around through town and I kind of collected them and wrote them down. If you like these things, make sure to click like, share, subscribe, and all those fun buttons so that others can experience Nathan's kind of humor, humor and, well, just weirdness. So as we think about things, um, sometimes I've heard the phrase that less is more. And the only time that advertisement has ever used that to refer to a good thing in their mind has been about female clothing, women's clothing. But I want to talk about less is more in terms of time. Jesus says to the disciples, let, let your yes be yes and let your no be no. In other words, when you say you're going to do something, do it. And when, you, when you're not going to do something, don't do it. Another way of saying less is more is saying this is that when we say no to something, we're saying yes to something else twice. By prioritizing, by saying that we will do less and in doing less, we will do it much better and more. It creates this understanding that we're prioritizing our lives. You've probably seen the jar where people put in the big rocks first and then the small rocks and, and then the water and, and all that fun stuff. But who said it had to be a jar? Who said it had to be limited? Who said you had to fill the thing up to the brim? We are called to be a people who fulfill God's calling in our lives. The calling that comes from our context. The calling that is a vocation that moves us beyond our comfort and into where God's design and plans are in the kingdom. We are called to say no to a lot in order to say yes to much more. A story is told in, in the book 4,000 Weeks, which if you do the math, is about 80 years, by the way. 4,000 Weeks of Life. And in the story, Warren Buffett is asked by his pilot, what, what do I need to do to organize my life? What do I need to do to prioritize my life? What would you do, Mr. Buffett? And Warren Buffett tells him, well, write down 25 things you want to accomplish in life. And so the pilot goes and does them and comes back and Warren Buffett says, okay, now circle the top five. Ah, says the pilot, those are my first priorities. I'll do those first and then I'll get to the other 20, you know, five, six through, through, through 25. And Warren Buffett said, no, avoid six through 25 at all costs. Say no to them because if you say yes to them, you will not be able to say yes to your top five. You're going to have to avoid them at all costs because they will suck the life and energy that you need to accomplish one through five. You see, we think that we have all the time in the world. We think that we will always constantly be moving forward on this highway of life. But the reality is, is that our engine and our, our warranty is limited. And we need to use what we have to truly fulfill what God has placed on our hearts and our passions in our lives as a calling. It's not easy to do this, but we have to start saying no to some things in order to say yes twice to the things that really truly matter and fulfill our calling in life. Think about these things. Pause, pray at a stoplight, and see how much better life can be. It won't be easy but it will be better together. Amen. Mm -hmm.